Paris to Voice News Update. On April 25th, 2016, Paris had its e prix which is something like an organized street racing event with electric cars. It was estimated that 200,000 fans arrived to watch the race. This was a huge morale boost considering the Paris attacks of last November. Also in the news, police in Bangladesh reported that two people have been hacked to death, one being a leading gay rights activist and the editor at Bangladesh's only LGBT magazine. The Islamic State claims responsibility for the murder. The Bangladesh government insists that there is no ISIS presence in the country, so they couldn't be responsible for the murder. On April 23rd, Beyoncé premiered her hour-long visual album, Lemonade, on HBO. It includes the talents of The Weeknd, Kendrick Lamar, and James Blake. It has set a new standard in the music industry, being the first album that needs to be watched to be fully appreciated. Harriet Tubman will be replacing Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. This is the first time that a woman or an African American will be on the front of an American bill. However, Jackson will reportedly still be featured on the back of the bill. About time, if you ask me. North Korea just tested their submarine-launched missiles. On April 23rd, the test was observed by Kim Jong-un himself. The tests were conducted at North Korea's only ballistic missile submarine, Gora, which means whale. North Korea has offered to stop all weapons testing if the U.S. agreed to stop conducting military practices with South Korea, but the White House responded by saying that they don't think Kim Jong-un is credible in his threats. President Obama announced that an additional 250 Special Operations Forces will be sent to Syria in an effort to stop the spread of ISIS. These troops will not be in actual combat, but instead providing training and assistance to local forces. European Space Agency wants to return to the moon, but this time, stay. They want to make a moon village by creating a shield around the surface of the moon with a 3D printer using the moon dust. The European Space Agency estimates that by 2020, humans will be back on the moon colonizing villages with robotics. Interesting. Ted Cruz and John Kasach announced on April 24th that they will be combining efforts against top runner Donald Trump. Kasach has no mathematical way to win according to Cruz, so his efforts are best spent aligning against Trump. However, voters have made it clear that they are tired of Washington's backroom deals and are quickly losing trust for these candidates. And considering Trump took five state cents, the partnership might be ineffective. Viz's dance team will be having their end of the year performance on May 6th at 7 p.m. This show will feature this year's performances from the basketball and football games along with the new dances, duets, and solos. Tickets will be $7 for adults and $5 for students. Tickets will be sold at the door. This Bye Bye Birdie sold out tickets for its opening weekend and consistently brought in strong audiences. This is the first time a Vista play has featured a live orchestra. Congratulations to everyone involved. Also, a huge congratulations goes out to Vista's 2016 valedictorians. Jordan Aldridge, Daniel Beccaro, Adam Belusha, Chalk Ho, Emily Limko, Ashlyn Molnix, TNT Wynn, Megan Pels, and Jesse Zhang. Just a reminder to all seniors, there are still a few Disney Grad Night tickets for sale in the student accounts. They are only taking cash now, but hurry to buy yours before they sell out. Finally, don't forget to put Vista Palooza on your calendar for May 19th. It's an evening of CME music and art. And <laughs> you do not want to miss this. Have some local news that you'd like to share on the Vista Voice broadcast or in the online paper? Email Janice Johnson at jjohnson at fcusd.org or see her in room G203. Thanks for watching and have a great week, Vista. Thank you.